Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you again and if you know, hi, hello, my name is Sandra. If you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down there and then you won't miss any of my uploads in 2018. So today's video is going to be a clutter video and I'm so so excited to start this series on my channel because I got plenty of stuff to go through and some of them doesn't work out for me or the wrong shade or I don't like so we are just going to dive right into my collection and split up in categories And I'm going to leave a poll up here so you can decide what my next declutter video is going to be And I'm going to pick three different categories you can choose from So go up there and vote for your next declutter video But today we are going to dive into my foundation, concealer and my powders and yeah, I know there are some stuff I really want to get rid of because I don't like them or they're too dark for me or too light for me or the wrong undertone or anything like that. And before we jump into this video, I really want to uh, point something out. I have done a um, makeup inventory in the start of 2018 and my number is my numbers from the beginning of 2018. And because I'm going to declutter some stuff, that means my number is going down. But on my paper, I'm going to uh, write how many uh, different products I'm going to declutter from each category so we can see what I used up and what I decluttered. So we just place that. So if you like to see what I'm getting rid of when it comes to my foundation, concealer and powders, then keep on watching. So I just changed the angle a little bit and I really, really hope you can see something because the lighting is a little bit crazy in here. We got a really, really sunny day and that makes me so happy. Spring is coming. But this is the first box and this is all my foundation. And um, yeah, I know I'm getting rid of some of them because they're too dark for me or something else. So we're just going to dive right in. The first one I have is this Laura Geller and this is a Bake foundation in the shade medium. I'm going to get rid of this one because this is too dark for me and I'm in the light fair section so this is definitely too dark for me. Next up I got this little pot of whitening foundation. I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't think there are anything left in this one. So I'm getting rid of this one. Then we got this one. This is my S&M cushion foundation and I pulled this out of my makeup drawer for February I think. Or January, I cannot remember and I thought it was empty but I found out you can squeeze this little sponge in here and get some more product out so I have decided to do that and I still have something in it so I'm going to keep it and try to work on this in the springtime so I can use it up and I'm going to put all the stuff I'm keeping over there and then all the stuff I'm not keeping I'm going to place them over there but let me know if this angle is a little bit awkward or something and then I will find some other way to film it but for now it's going to be like this next up is this uh, Goss Mineral Powder and this is in the shade 002 I really really like this for my more natural days and so I'm definitely going to keep it then we got this uh, W7 uh, Genius uh, Feather Light Foundation I really really like this and I have done a uh, best and worst of W7. I'm going to leave it up there so you can go over and check it out and see what I like about this. Then we got this one. This is my Fit Me foundation from Maybelline in Madame Paula's. I really, really like this and I have used quite a bit of it. As you can see there's a little air bubble in here and some of the product is not sitting on the side. So I will keep this and try to work my way through it. Then my all time favorite foundation for full covers. This is my Too Faced Bond This Way foundation and I got it in the shade Snow. I really, really like this and I'm definitely going to keep it. As you can see, I've used this quite a bit. Then we got this one and this is a little bit tricky foundation because I bought this in the US. This is the number 7 Stay Perfect Foundation All Skin Types Covered Medium. And I really, really like this but <laughs> this has a more grayish undertone and this is really, really weird to wear. But in the summertime, this is really nice on my skin because I got more of a tanning situation. So I'm definitely going to keep it and use it for the summertime. Then we got this one. I don't like this and I am going to say goodbye to this now. This is the Revlon Color Stay and this in the shade 110 Ivy. This is too pinkish for me so I'm going to say goodbye to this now because... No. Then we got this one. This is my H&M All Day Liquid Foundation and I got this in the shade... Are you... No? 
I don't know. I don't know what shade it is, but I really, really like it for summertime, so I'm definitely going to keep it. And we got this one. <laughs> this one. And I don't like it. This is the Loyal Infallible Foundation in the shade 120 Vanilla. And this is not vanilla. <laughs> I spoke about this before in my Yesi and Nobi. I don't like this, and this is too yellow base for me this is really really yellow and i don't know if i'm going to keep it or not and this is the swatch right there i think i would try this in the summertime instead because i feel like i bought this in late summer maybe fall so that is why the color is a little bit off so i would try this in the summertime and maybe mix it with my uh, Whitening foundation from LA Girl and see if that works out But for now I'm going to keep it and then we will see And I'm going to keep this for sure because I'm using this for mixing my darker foundation lighter And then we got this one, this is my Max Factor Last Performing Long Lasting Makeup in 102 Pastel I don't like this, this is too grey <laughs> This is a really really weird foundation This is the shade right there and that is not a good match for me So I'm going to say goodbye to this because I don't want to hold on to this And finally but not least we got this This is the Honey Bronze uh, Face Gel from the Body Shop And I'm going to get rid of this one because I'm not using this And it's just sitting here so bye bye So I'm just going to put them all in here And then we will see how many I'm keeping So this is my little stash of foundation now and I'm really really happy about this. I have another one in my makeup drawer, my everyday makeup drawer but I'm using that right now and I really, really like it. So I'm definitely going to keep that one and that is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous All Day Foundation. So this one is done and this is the product I'm getting rid of. I'm either going to donate it or give it to friends and family if it's still good or otherwise i'm going to throw it out if it's too old and in here we got all my concealers and yeah we're just going to dive right in first up we got this w7 camouflage kit i'm going to get rid of this one because i don't like it i really don't like it next up we got my maybelline instant age rewind and i'm definitely going to keep this one i really really like it and it's such a good concealer then we got my melanin retouch and erase lightning lifting concealer i really really like this and i have used this a ton so I'm definitely going to keep this. And then we got this one. This is my Women Wake Me Up concealer. I really, really like this. And it's such a good concealer for summer. Because it eliminates some of my dark circles under my eyes. But it's not too much. So I really, really like this. Then we got this one. This is the Essence Stay Natural Concealer. And this is in the shade... Where are you? Right here. Soft Beige. I'm going to get rid of this one. Because this is too dark for me. And... I don't know what is up with Essence and their color range because this is really really weird color range to have But I'm getting rid of this one Then we got this one This is the Laura Geller The Real Deal Concealer Series Covers in Light And yeah, I don't like this I really don't like this This is a, a really really off color for me As you can see this is a more yellowish undertone and it's not light enough for me And second of all, this is a really really thick Concealer, so I'm getting rid of this one and I really hope I can do a makeup swap in the future with someone who is a little bit more Darker than me and like this because I don't like it. then we got this one. This is my immediate active eye light concealer corrector and I really really like this so I'm definitely going to keep this one Next up we got this uh, Revlon uh, Youth Fix Fill and Blur Concealer And this in the shade 01 Fair Clear I really really like this and this is a really really good concealer so I'm definitely going to keep it Next up we got this one This is my Conceal and Correct Liquid Concealer by Beauty UK And I don't know if I'm going to keep this one uh, I don't know I really, really don't know because this is not a typical concealer. This is a more apricot and more salmon undertone concealer. So I think this is perfect for eliminating some of the dark circles under my eyes. So I think I will keep it for now and see if I can make it work. And if I don't, I'm going to get rid of it. Then we got one color correcting palette. This is from Maybelline. This is the Master Camo Kit Correcting Concealer Kit. And I 
really, really like this. This is in the shade Fair, I think. Yeah, light or Fair Light. And I really, really like this, so I'm definitely going to keep it. But for now, I'm not using this one. I am using my cover all from Red and Wild. So when I'm done with this one, I'm going to pull this out and in my makeup drawer. Next up, we got this one. This is my LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Porcelain. I really, really like this, and I'm definitely going to keep it. And then this one. I don't like it. And yeah. You can see in my W7 Best and Worst. Why? But this is the W7 Light Diffusion Concealer. This is horrible and I'm going to say goodbye to this. Then we got this one. This is my number 7 Radiant Glow Concealer. I really, really like this and I am surprised I really, really like it. And this is a perfect shade for under my eyes. This is right there. I don't know if you can tell. But this is such a nice concealer, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. And last but not least, we got this Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline, and this is in the shade number 10. This is too dark for me, because I found out that 15 is the lightest shade, and then 10, and then 20 or 25 or something. So this is the second lightest foundation, and that is so weird, because this is number 10. And in my world, number 10 is the lightest, and then 15, and so on. But... No, nope, not in this case, so I'm getting rid of this one because I don't want to hold on to this, but I have used this quite a bit because I just want to make it work, but I can't, so I'm getting rid of this one and maybe put this in a makeup swap in the future. So this is all I am keeping and I am so, so happy to keep all of them because I know I can use them all, except for this one. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but we will try. And this is how it looks like now. And I am so, so happy to have some product I love and I want to use up. And this is the product I'm getting rid of and I'm so so happy to have some more space for a new product. And last but not least, powders. And in here you can find all my loose powder and my pressed powder. And some of them are with color and some of them are not. So yeah, we're just going to dive right in and I know I'm not getting rid of too many because I love the majority of them. First one is this uh, Cody uh, Airspons powder and you know where it's going yep exactly i'm going to keep it and then we got this Laura Mercier in translucent i really really like this powder so this is going the same way along with this one this is my Too face um, born this way powder and this is also in translucent i love it so over there and then we got this one this is my gus prime and set Primer and Mattifying Setting Powder. I really, really like this, but this color is really, really white. And I really want to test this out as a primer and not a setting powder. So I am excited to try this one as a primer one day. But for now, I'm using this for a setting powder. And then we got this one. And this one is going. This is the number 7 Selfie Powder, and I don't like this powder. I don't know if you are able to see this, but this is blue. I don't understand it. It got a blue tint to it and I don't understand it. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it, but no, I don't like it. So I'm definitely going to say goodbye to this. And then we got this one. This is my NYX HD Finishing Powder. Uh, yeah, this is white. I don't know if I can compare a little bit. Maybe you can see it if I'm comparing these two. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. I know you can see it. Can you see that? This is the NYX and this is the... W7, can you see this is a little bit more bluish? So weird. But I'm definitely going to keep my NYX and this one is going as I said. And then we got this one. This is, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm blinding you. This is the L'Oreal Glam Base in the shade Light. And this is a more illuminating powder. So it has a little bit tint to it, but not too much. And I don't know, I have not used this at all, maybe two times or something. So I'm going to keep it and see if I can make it work in the summertime because right now I think it's a little bit too dark for me. Then we got this one. And I totally forgot I got this one. This is my Fit Me foundation from Maybelline in the shade 115. And this is how it looks like. I totally forgot I got this one. So yeah, as you can see, I got too many products. I really, really like this powder and this was one of my favorites. So I'm definitely going to keep it. and. 
Paul Laudel again and use it because that was a little bit sad, I forgot it. Then we got this one. This is my T20 Cosmetic B Smooth Face Powder. And this is in Feather Light. This is how it looks like and I don't know if you can see this but I got a pretty good focus on this one. I got some ring right there. I don't know if I can catch the light so you can see it. But I have used this a ton and I'm going to pull this out in the summertime because this is a little bit too dark for me right now. But I'm definitely going to keep it. Then we got this one. This is my physician's formula. Oh, what are you? You are creamy natural multicolor pressed powder and this is in the shade light I think. This is how it looks like and I really really like this color. This is a perfect color for me so I am so happy to have it and I'm definitely going to keep it. This is my Milani face powder and I cannot remember what I think of it. As you can see I have rubbed some of the design off. I don't know if you can tell but yeah. The lighting is crazy I'm so sorry. But this is the color right there and this is a perfect color for me so I'm definitely going to keep it. Last but not least I got two of my favorite powder. This is my all time favorite powder. This is from Red and Wild. This is the Cover All Pest Powder in the shade Fair. I got two of them because they are discontinued in the mark so I'm so so sad. I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm definitely going to keep those. And that was it for this little basket and in my little drawer I got these two. I got my Maybelline Fit Me powder, the loose one and I really like this so I'm definitely going to keep it. And then I got this uh, Bare Minerals powder. This is the matte and glowy one. It looks like this and I really, really like it so I'm definitely going to keep this as well. So I'm just going to pop all my powders in and then I'm going to show what I'm keeping. So this is all the powders I'm keeping and yeah, I didn't do that great on this area but I really, really love my powders and I know I'm using those every single day so that is why and then I'm going to get rid of this one <laughs> this is the only powder I'm getting rid of and that's okay because I know I'm using all my powders so yeah <laughs> I don't want to hold on to this so yeah <laughs> that was everything everything for my little declutter of my foundation my concealer and my powders and I'm so sorry you are so up close and the angle is a little bit awkward but yeah that's how it is but I just want to say thank you so much for watching and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget I love you and then I will see you in my next video bye